All right, let's get into it, guys. Highlights, Big Dynasty. Florida State is up first on the PS3 Dynasty. Uh, this is us against uh, Boston College. Uh, you got Jameis Winston hooking up with Rashad Green uh, for a nice, huge game. Uh, this was a definitely an easy outgoing for FSU. Um, as you see Whitfield here returning the kickoff, breaking a couple tackles, getting good field position for Florida State. The nose are in business and they pick up a nice win against Boston College, 48 to 13. Good win for FSU. Now this is against uh, FIU, uh, just a nice run. Look at that block there by our fullback, just a nasty block. Devontae Freeman trying to get into the Heisman race as we beat FIU 49 to 36. Now LSU is up next. Uh, they had a great close game against Auburn. Uh, took a last second ditch effort for them to pull off this win. But as you see Jeremy Hill, the Heisman, the Heisman leader just running over dudes. And Matt Berger getting his pass on. Yeah, LSU can pass the ball. You see it here. Yep, they're throwing the ball. And uh, they had a nice win against Auburn, 29-16. Uh, as they as Mettenberger and Jeremy Hill put on a show, uh, just definitely trying to push forward as they go along in this undefeated season. Against Kent State, it was a complete annihilation for LSU. They just destroyed Kent State as they beat them 38 to nothing. Like look at look at this play. This the corner, he just lost. He doesn't even know where he's going. Look he's oh look at this that, that play action pass just caught him so beautifully. Against uh, UAB, LSU also was able to have, have a nice game, uh, just setting things up, getting ready for their, their big Florida matchup coming up. And uh, as they beat uh, UAB 48-16, to uh, was look at that, just, they can't even ankle tackle this dude. It's just ridiculous right now, look at that. Juke, juke here, juke there, everywhere. Uh, Miami is a little light this week on the uh, highlight side of the ball things. Um, only only one game they got in on the highlights uh, against Troy. Uh, it was a pretty good game for Miami. They you know did very well. You got Duke Johnson and those guys putting in work. Uh, Forty-two to twenty-one was the score. They just need to pick it up because uh, they lost a couple close games and um, they need to pick things up. Here we go, Oklahoma State. And of course, the first highlight is against Texas State. I mean, we knew it was coming. But, you know, they're putting things together. They got running back by committee right now. You got Childs here running for a huge uh, touchdown run. And you're going to see Roland also in the highlights. Their, their offense, the air raid is kind of clicking for them. But, you know, hey, they're playing Texas State. I mean, how can it not be clicking as they destroyed them? I mean, completely. 63 to 21. I mean, who didn't see that coming? Now, the, their next following game, they hit a brick wall, so to speak. Um, West Virginia, tough matchup throughout. Um, you know, defense there. This is a nice interception in the back of the end zone here. Uh, definitely, definitely well, a well tough play game by Oklahoma State, but West Virginia just seemed to be too much as they just decimated the Oklahoma secondary through the air. And they pulled out the win, uh, 37 to 20. Good job, West Virginia. Man, are they gonna tackle this dude? I think not. All right, well, you know, eventually they have, they have to bounce back. And of course they did it against Kansas State. Had to show the world, hey, we're still a good team. We still can put up points and we still think we we can play. Uh, they look at it, they're just hot. Steam coming out of their mouth. They're so hot. Uh, zone replay, nice touchdown run here against KSU. Uh, KSU need, need some help on defense here as they just destroy them, 56 to 17. Uh, really nice bounce back by Oklahoma State squad. Uh, this guy runs for a touchdown here, but it's all pretty much for nothing. Nice pass there by Chell. He's, he's been getting it in these last few weeks. Look at that spin move. Nice. All right, next up is Oregon. Uh, 
just a, a, a snoozer here. And you see Dan Anthony Thomas is off to the races as they completely destroy Virginia 56-17 uh, early in the season. Now, this is a back-and-forth blowout game they had, uh, back-and-forth uh, high-scoring game they had against Tennessee. Um, as you see, the nice play-action pass, the wide receiver is pretty much wide open, tight end, I believe. Uh, nice, big score, and I don't know what his corner was doing there, but slowed down, and that was enough to give Tennessee a shot to run to daylight to the end zone, and nobody's in the camera. As Tennessee just kept kept this game pretty close, um, and you know it's definitely something that uh, Oregon can build off of, as they were able to pull the win out narrowly, uh, 57 to 47. This pick was probably a big part of that. Uh, good win by Oregon. Nice job. Look at this pass, double coverage. Goodness gracious, Tennessee. What are you doing? Well, it is what it is. Uh, against Colorado, this was, I mean, a completely insane scoring game. I mean, you thought the other game was high scoring. Wait till you hear this, boy. I mean, it was not a, not a lot of highlights, but scoring this game, 60 to 54. Yeah, basketball. Now, here's Ohio State. Uh, just jumping back on the scene. Got the coach, Octones. Braxton Miller with the nice juke. Trying to get that Heisman going here. Nice screen pass here. Setting this up. Uh, he's getting accustomed to the, Look at that block. He's getting accustomed to the offense. So he's able to pull up some nice numbers now. Uh, against Northwestern. Did a pretty good job. It was a tough matchup though. They ended up winning 48-31 uh, against Northwestern. As they were able to pull it out. Uh, against Wisconsin. Uh, those two defensive guys just fell for that zone lead. And Braxton Miller is off to the races. As you see here, uh, touchdown. Wisconsin was completely obliterated. 56 to 14. Speaking of obliterated, look at this hit. Woo that dude was obliterated right there. My goodness. And here's Florida. I guess we do have to talk about them eventually. Uh, they're undefeated. Uh, this is their matchup against Buller. He's just knocking dudes down, getting sacks. Uh, was in the Hymas race. I think he has like 11 sacks right now so early in the season. Uh, Bullard is getting it done on defense. And, you know, uh, Florida does have a, a pretty lucky passing offense, I guess. Uh, as you see, the wide receiver is off to the races. Um, they had a, a, a pretty interesting matchup against Arkansas. It, it took them a little bit to pull it off, but they were able to pull away. As you see, uh, Matt Jones is putting in work. Dude has 600 yards. Um, and they were able to put Alcazar away 52 to 33. Uh, this is against Kentucky. There you see Bullard once again. I mean, he's just all over the place. Look at this guy. He, he's just pushing all kind of pressure, forcing, forcing turnovers. Quarterback got to throw an interception. Yeah, it, it, this was a close game, actually. Uh, Kentucky almost upset them. They only won 38 to 31. So a very close game. Uh, they only able to pull it out, you know, and a close win. Um, now here's Cal. They're a little like on the highlights. They uh, only played a couple teams. Um, this is against Washington State. Uh, nice uh, interception right there by the cornerback. Tiptoes and catches in the back. And here's a nice interception by uh, Kenny Lawyers. He's actually from Chula Vista, California. As they beat them 51-34. Uh, to I'm actually... I lived in Chula Vista when I was when I was in the Navy in San Diego. When I lived in San Diego, so nice, nice to see that crew came from there. This is a highlight of him running the kickback against San Diego State. That's pretty much it for that. Don't even talk about that game. Uh, Clemson against Wake here. Uh, Clemson is trying to bounce back off of, after the Georgia loss. Uh, they're they're putting things together. Taj Boyd is actually leading the nation in uh, passing yards. Um, he's definitely got. Uh, some good receivers, especially one in the name of uh, Sammy Watkins, who we see, I believe, right here. Yep, is this Sammy Watkins right here? Yep. As they um, pull out a, a big win against Wake Forest, 56 to 27. You know, a lot of scoring here. Uh, Clemson is not really known for defense, but look at this play here. Wow, he just knocks down both of those defensive backs, and he's still oh, step, step, step. Can he get right? Nope. Oh uh, no, it's tackle, but he almost got away there. Uh, this is North Carolina State against Clemson. Taj Boy doing his thing. Line drive throw right to the receiver. 
nice catch, good hands. And they put North Carolina State away 38 to 26. So actually, a pretty close game in that regard. But uh, I believe that's it for me, folks. Uh, like, subscribe, share. If you like this content, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later.